In this video, let us learn about know your numbers. This is the first unit in your chapter. So, in this video, let us learn about comparison of numbers. Comparison. Then, let us learn about shifting of values. Shifting values. And then, let us go about learning place values this is something you have learned in your previous year and let's brush up what is place your values is so now let's start with comparison so the first topic is comparison so now let us see what comparison means now comparison means when there are two values given to you you will have to see the one which is greater or the one which is smaller that is what comparison means so for comparison you basically need two entities or two values because you can compare only when you have two things so now in this case let us take two numbers now for example 92 and then let's take 42 now when they ask you to compare between 92 and 42 you will have to just look out the number and see which is greater than the other one in this case you can find the number 92 is greater than 42 but let us go theoretically and find how is 92 greater than 42 now see the value how was this split to this 92 could be written as 90 plus 2 in the same fashion let's see how 42 could be written as this could be written as 40 plus 2 now go from the first well, first number see if 90 is greater or 40 is greater because 9 comes after 4 so 90 is greater than 40 so 92 is greater than 42 and you represent this by this symbol and this is greater than symbol now how do you represent the smaller than symbol smaller than symbol is represented as this and this is greater than symbol and this is smaller than symbol this is greater and this is smaller than now let us see an example for smaller now in the same fashion let us compare two numbers for example 31 and 73 now in this case see which is bigger than the other one so you can generally notice that 73 is bigger than 31 so you have to represent it by a greater number sign but in this case 31 is first so you have to represent it by a smaller than sign so the smaller than sign is written as this so 31 is smaller than 73 that is how you read it you read as 31 smaller than 73 now let us go about seeing how comparison can be used now imagine someone gives you a set of numbers like 9 3 1 4 now and they ask you to arrange them in a order from smaller to greater that is let's write that is from smaller to greater s means smaller g to greater so what you have to do is you have to compare the number and write the smallest number first and you have to keep continuing that till you get the largest number at the end so now let's go about doing so now consider these four numbers see which is the smallest among all these four numbers uh, you can see that one is the least smallest number so you write one first then you put a comma and then you write the next smallest number after 1 so in this series after 1 3 is the next smallest number if you can't find just compare one number with other number 9 is greater than 3 now see 3 is greater than 1 but 3 is smaller than 4 so 3 is the next number so next you write 3 then the next number would be the next little greatest number so in this case it's 4 so write 4 and put a comma and finally see the greatest number among all these four so 9 is the greatest number so write 9 
so this is the arranging of series from smaller to greater and when they ask you to find arranging in such order that is from smaller to greater this type of arrangement is known as arranging in ascending order So when they ask you to arrange a set of numbers in ascending order, remember you will have to arrange it from smaller number first to bigger number. This is something you will have to remember. Ascending order means arranging of numbers from smaller to bigger. Now let us go over seeing the reverse of this. That is. arranging from bigger number to smaller number or greater number to smaller number as discussed before let us see how to arrange a number from big to small that is now consider set of four numbers like for example 42 73 84 and then two now you have to arrange these numbers from bigger number to smaller number so let's see how you do it similarly you will use the basic concept which was taught to you before that is comparison now compare all these four numbers and find out the bigger number uh, using sense you can find 73 is bigger than all the number if you can just see if 42 is greater than 73 no is 73 greater than 31 yeah is 73 greater than 2 yeah so 73 is the greatest among all this so write 73 first and now see the next greatest number in this case 42 is the next greatest see 42 is greater than 31 and 2 so you write 42 next then see the next number 31 is the next biggest number so 31 so you write 31 and which is the least number now 2 so 2 is the least number so this type of arranging from big to small is known as arranging in descending order descending order so what is descending order arrangement means when a set of number is given to you and when they ask you to arrange them in descending order it means you will have to arrange the number starting from a greater number to a smaller number so this is what arranging in series means so let us go over revising comparison means comparing between two numbers and finding the greatest and the smallest and then we said about ascending order in which you arrange from small to big and the opposite of ascending order is arranging in descending order which is from greater to smaller digit now let us go to the next topic the next and the important topic is shifting numbers now what is shifting of numbers means consider three numbers for example 9 3 and 6 and they would ask you to find a uh, highest number possible from this number or the greatest number possible out of these three numbers so how do you solve this uh, so it's a three digit number so basically you have three digits 1 2 and 3 now you will have to form the highest number possible out of these three numbers so to do the highest possible number the highest number will come in the first and proceeding it goes down to the lowest So in this case, see which is the highest number. Nine is greater than three, and nine is greater than six. So nine comes first. So the next highest number would be six because six is greater than three. So the next number is six, and the least number possible is three. And then you write it as the highest possible or the greatest number that can be formed by 9 3 6 and 6 is 963 now this is what shifting of numbers means this shifting of numbers means 
forming the greater number or smaller number by shifting the number from one position to another position now let us see how you shift the number and make a smaller digit number so since it is three digit number 1 2 and 3 and since you have already formed the greater number it is easier for you to form the smaller number it's just reverse of this but we go systematically so see the smallest number in this question the smallest number here is 3 so you write 3 first then see the next number bigger than 3 and smaller than the other number so the number bigger than 3 is 6 but 6 is smaller than 9 so you write 6 next and see the last and the highest number given to you this 9 so the last number would be 9 so the uh, so the smallest number that can be formed out of these three is is 369 so basically what shifting of number is shifting the numbers or placing a number at a particular value so that you get a higher number so this is the greater number that can be formed out of these three number that is 963 you start by placing the bigger number first and then keep going till you get a smaller number at the last and then when they ask you to find the smallest number you do the reverse process you keep the smallest number first and keep going till you get the bigger number The next topic is place values. So, what does place values means? Uh, you will have learned in your previous class about expansion. That is, expansion of seventy-eight. How would you expand seventy-eight as? Seventy-eight can be written as seventy plus eight. This is called expansion of a given number. You expand the number to their respective values. This is called expansion. Now the place value also means the same. Now let's take a four-digit. So to understand place value, let us take a four-digit number for example. So a four-digit number means there will be four digits in a number. This is this is a two-digit number because there are two digits. That is seven and a two digits. So it's a two-digit number. So a four-digit number means there will be four digits. For example, let's take two zero one five. So this is a four-digit number. So how would you expand this number? To expand this number, you will have to write it as. Two thousand because two is in thousands place, and then add the zero into hundred plus one into ten, and then finally you get five into one. So this is called expansion of a four-digit number. Now you can notice that. I have written five into one unit. So, what does place value means? You write the exact value of the number at its particular place. You you can do this by writing it in this fashion. So, because five is in ones place, we call it five ones. So, this is ones place, or also known as units place. And the next digit is one, and this is in tens place. So this is in tens place. So the next digit is zero, and that is in hundreds place because hundred is multiplied with zero. So this is at hundreds place, and two is with multiplied with thousand. So this is in thousands place. So this is easier for you to read a number. So you can read it by two thousand and fifteen because hundred is zero here. I know hundred, so two thousand and fifteen. This is the eight for reading you. Now let us see another example in which a place value will be clearer. So, since you all know only about four digits number and reading how and how to read a four digit number, let us go about introducing you to a new set of numbers which are called five digit numbers and six digit numbers. So, five digit number that is ten thousand. 
This is a five digit number. You can count there are five digits. One, two, three, four, five. Because there are five digits, this is a five digit number. So how would you write the place values for a five digit number? So let us consider the same five digit number. And now write the place values for each as discussed before. So the least number or the last number would be the ones. And the next number after ones is tens. And the next number after that is hundreds. And the next number after hundreds is thousands. So what is the number after thousand? The number after thousand would be ten thousand. We spell it as ten space thousand. So every five digit number would start after ten thousand. Or you can also tell as ten thousand is the least five digit number formed. 